Happy birthday Singapore, 55 years of independence. So I thought I'll paint something that's Singaporean and famous uh, around the world. Tiger Balm Ointment. As usual, I normally lightly sketch with a pencil, but today I will use a a pen. This is a Sailor Feud Neap 55 degree uh, fountain pen. The, the nib is bended at about 55 degree. It comes like that. Um, and I use a very light uh, ink. It's uh, non. Uh, um, it's bulletproof, meaning it, it when it's dry, it will not smudge uh, with the watercolor. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's highly diluted. Uh, it's black, but it's highly diluted. So. Um, what I'm trying to do is just to give it a small, very, very quick outline and then, uh, you know, the, the shapes and stuff, more or less, uh, it's correct. Well, sort of. <laughs> I'm not a very good drawer. I don't draw really well. Uh, not enough practice, I suppose. Um, as long as I get the shape more or less right, I'll be very, very happy. Um, as, uh, you know, the lines are meant just as a guide for my watercolour and uh, I love colour much more than um, drawing, so really just for me to slap on uh, colors um, mango the tiger I think but uh, <laughs> never mind it's okay I think you can see it if it's uh, small enough so tiger balm um, interesting history of tiger balm started by a couple of brothers from Myanmar the company is more than a hundred years ago so they made their money long long time ago uh, the brand is still around not that many company survive a uh, hundred years so it's always interesting to to see that the company is still doing reasonably well or well, i hope they do um, and uh, even with the uh, covid 19 situation i hope they do uh, suddenly they sell a lot to to uh, tourists and i'm sure their business would have taken a hit somewhat um so anyway uh, i think the broad shape is done more or less so that's it so I, in this case, I actually start with the uh, shadow. Uh, try not to have a uh, hard edge on the shadow, except the part where it touches the bottle. Uh, soften all the other parts um, and uh, gradate it away, uh, just like in the photo. Um, uh, yellow for the top, and I'm a little bit careful not to put yellow all over. Um, in this case, uh, a dirty yellow at the bottom uh, or the side of the cap um, and just to differentiate the top and uh, as you can see I've left highlights uh, I'm also putting in a very dark uh, color right here uh, careful to leave a bit of a uh, highlight on the right side uh, of the shape um, now putting in a bit of the ornament um, using very small brush in this case is a Dal Taylor Rowney graduate one of the smaller brushed, I think it's a hundred or, or one. Um, the red color on the side. Um, and uh, be careful to observe the shape where when it goes away, it's uh, actually a triangle. It's not a trapeze, but a triangle. So um, a bit of a blue on the side, um, blue. And as you can see, I don't put the same intensity throughout. I actually wet it down and just, you know, uh, basically allow the blue to um, have a gradated shape if you like so that it looks really like a watercolor um, and now uh, writing down tiger balm uh, and I think I mangled the tiger doesn't matter I think it's still readable so that's good um, actually I kind of forgot uh, the orange I'll come back later um, going back to draw some more um, you know it's sometimes you, you don't really have to always draw everything and then you color you can always you know draw broad shape color it um, and then you know come back and draw a little bit more and color it and, and so on and so forth there's nothing wrong with uh, with that approach there's certainly no single approach that's correct so we just gotta go with the flow uh, in that sense so um, now I darken uh, the cap as you can see in the cap there's actually a very dark shape and I use uh, my very small brush to um, you know basically put in the dark shape uh, that should work, I believe. Um, I think a bit more of a dark shape, but a, a you know a 
observe the uh, the bottle itself, um, and so there's many layers to that, right? So you leave highlights, and then you make sure the dark shape is sort of uh, capturing uh, what you see as well. Now I'm going to be a bit more loose with my, um, uh, you know, the uh, the 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 uh, the box, if you like. Where well, it's a funny shape box, but that's what Tiger Bums, uh, I guess, marketing. Decides to have it's colorful and it's odd shape, um, and uh, I start with the red, and it's actually a myriad of red, some hot, some warm, and I, I'm just gonna just throw in there, uh, and uh, you know without really worrying too much about the the shape, and I also water it down so that it has a, a feel of watercolor to it. And uh, next the orange, um, and you know I color around the uh, the tiger and uh, just go over it. And well, I'll come back with a hot red later. Uh, oh no, that's not a good one. So I'll come back to the red when once it's all dry, so that I can have a hard edge on the red uh, shape. Okay, so um, where I am now, I guess I'm uh, relatively uh, comfortable with um, uh, you know a, a sharper uh, bottle with a softer back uh, box uh, shape, if you like, and a bit less defined. You don't really have to define. Now I'm coming back into fix my problem or error uh, the orange that I missed earlier and uh, I'm just going around it I'm just ignoring the red spot for now and uh, as you can see uh, I'm just being careful not to uh, over uh, pigment if you like uh, it's a mistake but it's okay it's always uh, correctable with the tissue at hand and uh, there you go I'm just gonna uh, now put a bit of green and the green and red just really contrast very nicely but you know you don't really want your green to overwhelm and so dilute it down somewhat and uh, make it a little bit more f uh, you know just a feel of the green and it's really just just to have a, a sense of uh, uh, the tiger balm sort of you know image but don't really have to worry too much about it now uh, darker red just to uh, strengthen some part of the, the red to separate uh, dim you know the various uh, plane darker blue um, kind of exploded but it doesn't matter as I said it's okay to be a bit more softer and diffuse somewhat as compared to uh, the bottle in front like I said my drawing is actually not very good <laughs> well it's not very accurate but uh, you could see the uh, the you know more or less the intent and it's, it's a sketch anyway right so uh, if you really want to make a very very accurate you gotta spend a lot of time trying to get all the ratio the line and now I'm just doing some squiggles, right? The squiggle, squiggle in, squiggle in the tiger lines, and uh, and in fact I'm using a pen now. Uh, this pen has uh, is loaded with uh, darker ink, same ink with higher intensity, and uh, I'm just gonna draw the tiger and you know sort of mangle anyway. Uh, and I'm putting in tiger balm stronger so that you can kind of see it uh, in some of the uh, writings or instruction on left side of the box uh, trying to separate the shape so that I can at least give it a bit of a sense of uh, uh, different planes if you like I think we're almost done more squiggles more squiggles and uh, finally writing my name so that's basically it uh, a very simple sketch again happy birthday Singapore uh, and uh, you know again what best way than to sketch a famous brand most people in Asia or at least the East Asian would know um, and they would come to Singapore to buy this tiger balm. Um, I suppose it's not magic but it's for many purposes and it's a single balm that can be used for a lot of stuff uh, and I hope you enjoyed this sketch I hope you have uh, learned something as well and I hope you could even try something uh, not necessarily with tiger balm but uh, with you know uh, colorful packaging like this technique will be the same you could use pen pencil doesn't matter so I hope you enjoyed that um, a, a like and a subscribe will be appreciated it really helped me to make more content like this so thank you very much